What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg, I'm so excited to be back with you guys. Before we jump into this video, I just wanted to tell you guys real quick about Buckle Insurance. Buckle Insurance is the best rideshare insurance. Some of you are veterans on this channel, you know my story about an accident where I was not at fault and I did not have the proper rideshare insurance and it did end up really biting me in the butt. So check out Buckle Insurance. There's a link in the description below. You can even get a $20 Visa gift card just for getting a quote using our link in the description below. Awesome. So I am back to driving Uber and Lyft again. I've been running a business for the last two years. I've done very well with it. And to be honest, the reason I'm coming back comes back to a conversation I had with a driver. Uh, this was about a year and some change ago. I took a ride to the airport and the driver was a neurosurgeon. And so I, I when he told me that, because I generally talk a lot to drivers just because of my past experience, I was shocked. I was like, you know, in my head, I'm thinking there's no way you need to do this. You know, like when I was doing it, I was paying all my bills with it, paying off debt with it. Like I had to drive. I literally had to be on that app every day. Right. So. I just bluntly asked him, I was like, look, man, you know, to be honest, there's no way you actually need to be driving, right? Like there's, there's no way you're the average Uber driver by any means. So what's, you know, what's going on here? Like, what, why are you doing this? And what he told me was that, look, he was like, no matter how much money you make doing whatever you do, he's like, if you can make an extra 30 or 50 bucks, even a month, and you put that into the proper stocks, the proper investments, or even just a savings account, that's going to slowly add up. And, you know, again, whatever the purpose, it doesn't really matter, but that money can compound, or you can just have a nice savings. If you do that for uh, 12 months, you know, and you just even made 50 bucks a month, you know, I mean, you got like 600 bucks just for whatever you need. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. And it's something I've always thought about from time to time. So as I got my business more automated and I had more time on hands, I told Dylan I wanted to be back on the channel because I was going to be doing some driving again. So as I'm back, I want to, uh, I'm going to be sharing a lot of videos on my earnings, what I made. I'm going to give you guys tips on saving gas. I drive a 2011 uh, Jetta TDI, so it's a turbo diesel. Uh, what I love about it is it gets 41 miles per gallon. So obviously it's an extremely ideal car for Uber. Um, they don't, I believe, make this model of car anymore. But having the option for diesel, even though diesel is really expensive now, I don't have to fill up that often. So it's a great car. It's a hatchback, so it's got great space for, you know, luggage. And then on top of it, it's you know relatively roomy. I used to drive a Nissan Sentra. I'm six foot two. It was not not a fun ride. <laughs> and doing long hours, I was convinced I was getting blood clots in my knees. One of the other reasons though that I actually wanted to drive again was for the networking purposes. I've always said that the really cool thing about Uber and Lyft and really all ride sharing in general is the amount of connections you can make. We're in a very digital era where people don't really make organic connections anymore. And I always loved the component of how easily you could start conversations with people. So I'm hoping to make some connections for my business. It's really unmatched networking. You can't really do anything like this. Uh, as I make those connections as well, I'll tell you guys about my stories um, and then any other crazy stories that happen. I know people used to love when I would make videos of just some obscene passenger I had on a Saturday night at two in the morning. But the one thing that I want to leave you guys off with in this video is don't let it be just Uber. I know a lot of you are probably just driving Uber, but what I've always seen with ride sharing, Uber, Lyft, even Postmates and all the other things, I mean, probably more the ride sharing side, but if you have some type of commission only sales job, if you have a business, if you have anything you can offer beyond just the ride or just casually talk to your passengers about, this could be a very good opportunity for referrals. I think anyone who's in real estate should con really consider driving. I think anyone who's in any type of commission only sales should consider it because again, those connections you make, you can't beat. When I started uh, my sales career, that was actually my first few sales came from Lyft passengers. 
Still to this day, they're lifelong customers and I would not have met them if I hadn't been a driver. I've sold solar out of this car, I've sold marketing packages out of this car, and just the sheer opportunity to get to talk about what you do. Generally, if you ask people what they do and you just keep the conversation going, they're gonna ask if you do anything else besides just driving. That is the perfect opportunity for you to talk about what they do, hand, what you do, hand out a business card, and you never know. Maybe it's not them, maybe it's a family or friend that needs your service. So I really recommend you guys look into something that you can just nonchalantly offer. And if you need any advice on that, I'd love to help as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm super pumped to be back. Make sure you check out Buckle Insurance, linked in the description below, and I will talk to you guys soon.